Hey everybody, Eric here. And today I want to share with you my tips for making 3D labels for diagramming in SketchUp. Okay, so 3D labels, why do we need them? Why are they helpful? What's the idea here? Um, when I do my diagramming or my even site planning, uh, it's it's usually in plan view and that's fine. Making a label in plan view is easy. But I found that if you tilt the view, especially if you've got some buildings that you want to show their height, you can get some really interesting diagrams uh, using it in 3D or looking at it in 3D instead of 2D. So in order to do that, though, there's some a few things we need to think about as far as working with text labels in 3D for diagramming. So let me show you now. I've got my site here. I probably wouldn't recognize it unless I turn the aerial on. This is actually Trimble's headquarters in Colorado. So if you're ever in the neighborhood, come say hello if you know where I'm looking at here. I've went ahead and sort of drawn in a little bit of line work. I've got this dashed line around the circle around it that represents sort of a half mile walk circle. I've got this sort of dashed line that's a parcel. So right now it's just a dirt field, but let's say that's an area that I want to study here for my diagramming purposes. And then I just kind of created another little symbol just to call attention to that. So, so you can see if I kind of tilt and pan around, it's actually, um, this is what it looks like in plan view. Not bad, but it's actually kind of cool if we tilt the view there and then I'm going to throw some labels over the top. So with labels, as you may know in SketchUp, we have two different kinds. There's text, which will give you a, just kind of a call out. So if I wanted to say, you know, walking circle or something like that, I could do that. Nothing wrong with those labels. They work great. If you spin around, the text follows you. Not a lot of control though with those. I mean, they're, if you zoom in, you'll notice they scale uh, to fit the zoom. So I can't really control the font or the size very easily. So instead, I'm going to come over here to tools, 3D text instead. And sometimes it will make me do this twice. Let's see if it's going to do that here. I'm going to type in project site because that's the first label I want to create. And I'm going to say place. Yeah, OK, good. Um, the size and stuff doesn't really matter. I'm going to scale it right now. I just need to make sure that my font is correct. So whatever font that I'm using, I want to pick that. So I've got my label here. It's got a thickness, as you can see, because it's 3D text. So the next step for me, if I switch to plan view, is to sort of create, doesn't really matter what shape you want, but I'm going to create a label, which is basically not a label necessarily, it's an arrow as part of my label that says I want to point to uh, what's below. I'm going to make that a component because that way if I want to make a change to it later, I can just make a change to that arrow. And same thing if I want, I can scale this and get it sort of looking right. But I'm not too worried. I can make it. I can make changes to this later. And you're going to see we're going to do that in just a minute. So I'm going to take those two and I'm going to make those two a component. And I'm going to do it one more time. But first, I'm going to use the rotate tool. I'm just using my keyboard shortcuts here. And I'm going to make a copy of this. So I'm, I'm making a rotated copy using the protractor tool. And I just hit 90 degrees just to make sure that's straight up. Now I'm going to make this a component one more time by adding an extra temporary line. Make a component. But this time I'm going to say always face camera and set component axis. And I'm going to grab this the point of my arrow here and make sure that that looks good. I can give it a name if I want. I'm not too concerned right now. So I said that there was that temporary line there. I'm going to go in and, and just delete that. So you can see what's happening now is that when I rotate, I get this text that says project site with an arrow pointing down that also follows the camera. That's pretty sweet. So if I wanted to, I can go in and copy this project site right here. I don't know where I want the label necessarily, but that's OK. That's why we're doing this in 3D. We can actually move around. I'm going to scale this up, make it a little bit bigger. And that's my first one. Actually, I might want to make it even bigger because so that way it's a little bit more legible. So let's go ahead and copy this a couple more times. Maybe I'm just going to copy this one more time, actually, just because I want to make I want to change this text. 
So I've already, I've already created it once. I want to actually create another label. So in this case, I could go in and place the text inside of this component. But the problem with that is it's going to be hard to align the 3D text perfectly because as you can see, I'm rotating around. So that's why I made this component down here. I left this one here because when I want to make a new label, I can just edit this one. So because I don't want to edit my project site label, I'll make that one unique. So now this one is unique. And actually, I may have to go inside of it and make the one inside unique as well. So you'll see here now this one, any edits I do, I, it won't affect the, my first label. So I only want to change this one. So we're going to go into this label here, delete that text. And while we're in the component, come over here to 3D text again. I haven't changed the size, haven't changed the font or anything. I'm going to type in Trimble. HQ, or I'm just going to type in Trimble, doesn't really matter. I'm going to place this and place it right there. Now, if I zoom out, you'll see that because I'm working on a component, it actually updated the one over here. So that's pretty cool. So you can do that as many times as you want. If you make a copy of one, just make the original unique and along with any sort of subcomponents unique. And then what you can do is you can edit the original, you can edit the one off to the side and then that label will update as well. So I made also this little arrow component is because even though I made them all unique, I did not make this arrow component unique. And the reason for that is because even though now I've got different labels with different names, I can actually still control the little arrow. So if I wanted to make this more narrow, um, you can see it's doing it to all of them. So if I had 20 labels, it would do it to all of them at once. And I don't need, I'm going to leave the one off to the side. If I want to, I can hide it. But because I, until I know that I'm done for sure, I wanted to go ahead and leave that sort of working label off to the side or put it on a tag and freeze it. Now, from here, it might be difficult to see what I'm doing. You'll notice that I have been working in black and white. So I know that this skill builder is about labels, but I'm also going to add a little bit of extra information here for making it look like it's a, a diagram, like it's going to pop a little bit more. So in my tags, you, you may notice here that I've got some different tags that came in with my data that I used for the site analysis. Well, I've assigned a color to each one of them, uh, including my location terrain or my location snapshot. So the color that I've assigned their tag means that I can use the color override or color by tag feature here in the tags menu. So if I click that, you can see that everything um, changes color, but I didn't actually have to apply any color to any faces. So any materials that are already in my model, I'm just overriding them. So that's kind of cool. This purple just indicates that these are untagged. So it's kind of a warning sign for me that says, go ahead and take some time to move those tags over to, I have a label, I have a, a symbols tag. So if I put those on the symbols tag and then I can, I'm good to go. So let's spin around this model really quick and see what that looks like. If I felt like the project site was more important than the Trimble building, then I could uh, scale this down. The nice thing about scaling the outside of the component, again, just like we did with changing the text, is that the, everything inside stays the same. So I can still edit that. But now I have some hierarchy. I have this big one that says, hey, that's my project site. That's more important than my other one that just says, keep in mind that there is some other things going on. There's a golf course, and then there's some other stuff that I think is going to be interesting as part of my storytelling. So that was a super quick one. Um, there's a lot more we can do with symbols. You can see that I've created some other symbols and things for site analysis and diagramming. But for me, I love the ability that I get with the 3D because I don't always know what's going to work the best in my page layouts. So sometimes if I just do plan view, I'm locked into that plan view. I'm locked into that north up. But when I'm in my page and I might want to do something a little bit more interesting with images or text off to the side, 
coming in here and being able to rotate around and sort of evaluate a few different perspectives before I make that choice, well, having those follow me 3D labels makes that process really easy and I think really fun. So that's it for adding 3D labels to your diagrams in SketchUp. I hope you learned at least one thing new uh, today because then I feel like we accomplished something. If you have a different way of working with text, if you found something particularly helpful that you didn't know, let us know in the comments because that feedback helps us sort of refine the videos that we make for you. And we love, as Aaron says, I'm going to quote him, we love making these videos, but we like making them more when it's the stuff that you want to see. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. We'll keep that conversation going there. Thank you and see you next time.